Hey what's going on guys Tanmay of Simple Snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial under operational research especially the linear programming problems part So in the previous video of this playlist we saw the theory on linear programming and we understood what exactly is linear programming we took an example and we understood why we exactly need linear programming so if you have missed that video you can check it out it's a small theory video and in this video tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to be taking an example and we are going to be formulating the lpp that is we are going to be formulating all the required equations and expressions for the question we are not actually going to be solving it because the first part of solving these kind of problems is to actually understand the question and formulate all the equations and expressions related to that question and only then you will actually be able to solve a numerical using the graphical technique so with that being said let's start off with the numerical let's first read this question so a firm manufactures two types of products a and b so there's a firm which is manufacturing two types of products a and b and then it sells them at a profit of rupees 2 on a and rupees 3 on b so this is something we need to note as a part of given data the second point is each products is processed on two machines g and h so we have two machines g and h and each of these products is processed on both of these machines so this is what is given at point number 2 Now point number 3 is product A requires 1 minute processing time on G and 2 minutes on H similarly product B requires 1 minute on each of the machine that is it requires 1 minute on G and 1 minute on H lastly we have been given a condition and the condition is that machine G is available for not more than 6 hours and 40 minutes so this is not 4 this is 40 while machine H is available for 10 hours during any working day so we have a constraint on the working time of these machines that is in a working day machine g is only available for 6 hours and 40 minutes and machine h is available only for 10 hours now we have to formulate the problem as an lpp that is linear programming problem which means that we have to formulate all the related expressions which means we have to make a table we have to find out all the constraints and then we have to find out the condition which is the final condition of maximizing the profit which would be given by z and then we will have a particular equation right so this is what we saw in the previous video also and even though it is not directly given over here that we have to maximize the profit it is well understood because a firm is manufacturing two products and it is going to be selling them at a profit so it wants to maximize the profit right so this is a maximization problem and we just have to find out all the related constraints and the maximization equation so in order to do that we have to first formulate a table and let's go ahead and understand what this table is so this is how the table looks like so the first column is for the machines now these kind of problems usually have these three tables so the first one is for machines or some entities which is going to help produce the actual product so here we have product a and b and so this is the second column and then there would be a constraint on the machines so as you can see our machines are available for limited amount of time so we have the third column as availability so the products that we have are a and b right so i'm just going to write a over here and b over here similarly machines that we have is g and h over here and the availability of g is 6 hours and 40 minutes so i'm just going to convert it to minutes so this would be 400 minutes and machine h is available for 600 minutes i hope you know how to convert hours to minutes so now let's fill out this product column for a and b for that we need to refer these two points that is this one and this one and also the third one so the first point says each product is processed on two machines which means both the products a and b are going to be processed on both machines g and h the second point states that product a requires 1 minute processing time on g so i'm going to write 1 minute over here and product a requires 2 minutes on h so i'm going to write 2 minutes over here okay similarly product b requires 1 minute on g and 1 minute on h as well so i'm going to write 1 minute over here so this is the actual table formation but what we are more interested in is how do we maximize the profit so what exactly would give us the profit so let me just first write down profit over here so coming back to the very first line we know that a firm manufactures two types of products a and b and sells them at a profit of rupees 2 on a and rupees 3 on b so this is where that profit values come from so for product a we are having a profit of 2 rupees and on b it is 3 rupees okay so this is that complete table now we have to make a particular assumption so let me just tell you what that assumption is 
So the assumption here is let x1 and x2 be the number of units of product A and B respectively. So x1 is the total number of product A that we are making in one single day by the form and x2 is number of product B that we are making in one single day. So this is the assumption over here. Now depending on this assumption, we can now formulate the profit equation. So let me just show you that equation. So this is that maximize equation. So uh, Z is the actual value. So we are assuming Z, you can assume any, this is an algebraic equation. So you can use any alphabets. Typically it is Z in LPP. So this is that equation of maximizing Z, which is equal to 2 into X1 plus 3 into X2. So what is this? Now in one single day, if the firm makes X1 number of product A and it is having a profit of 2 rupees on product A, so the total profit will be 2 into X1, right? So this is this value. So let's assume that the firm is making 3 units of product A and it is making a profit of rupees 2. So ultimately the profit is going to be 3 into 2 which is 6, right? So this is that first part. Similarly, if the firm is making X2 number of product B in one single day and it is making a profit of rupees 3 on one product of product B, then the total profit would be 3 into 2, right? So ultimately the final profit is going to be given by this equation 2 into x1 that is rupees 2 into total number of product A plus rupees 3 into total number of product B. I hope you are getting this equation and this is very important because this is a part of this question. So we are actually formulating the total equation. But now we also know that there are certain constraints on our machines, right? Our machines are not available 24 seven. They have a particular time limit. So what are those constraints? So these are those constraints which I'm talking about and these constraints are as follows that is 1 into x1 that is 1 minute into number of product A plus 1 minute into number of product B is supposed to be less than 400 that is the total availability of machine G. So obviously machine G cannot produce infinite number of product A and B in this 400 minutes right. So that is going to be restricted by a certain value. That is the number of product A and product B that machine G can process is going to be under 40 minutes. So that's why time taken by product A on machine G into the number of products of A plus time taken by product B on machine G which is 1 into the number of units of product B has to be less than or equal to 400 minutes. So this is a constraint, right? So that's why less than equal to is a sign. Similarly, the next constraint is for machine H wherein we have 2 into x1. So time taken by product A on machine H into total number of units of product A plus time taken by product B on machine H that is 1 into the total number of units of product B on machine H and that total has to be less than equal to 600 minutes because again as I mentioned even machine H is operating for a limited amount of time. So it will only manufacture or process certain number of products, right? And that is given by this equation. And of course, x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to zero. That is non-negative constraints because x1 and x2 are the number of units of product A and B. So that number of products cannot be negative, right? You cannot produce minus one or minus five products of A and B. That doesn't make sense, right? So that's why x1 and x2 is greater than or equal to zero. That is non-negative constraints. Okay, so this was the complete formulation of the problem as an LPP, wherein we first started off with a table. We plotted the different machines, the number of products and the availability of the machines. We also listed the profit because ultimately we have to maximize the profit, right? Then we made an assumption of number of units of products A and B, which are being manufactured in one single day by the firm. And then using those values, that is X1 and X2, we formulated the main maximization equation, which is this one. So this is very important. And lastly, we also listed down the constraints which are basically applied on the machines because they are only available for a certain amount of time. So the first constraint is for machine G and the second constraint is for machine H. Okay, so this was the complete formulation of the problem. And here we are not actually solving the problem to find out what is the value or what are the number of product A and B that should be produced to gain the maximum profit and the profit value because this was just the formulation of the problem. In further videos, we'll also see how to formulate the problem and then we'll use a graphical chart to find out the number of products to be manufactured and the total profit gained out of it. Or if it's a minimization problem, then we'll understand 
how to minimize the loss using the same technique wherein we formulate the problem first then use the graphical chart to minimize the loss so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood how to formulate a given problem as an lpp and the steps that you need to take so thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace